Welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to talk about a very fun and very useful trick for cosplayers, which is going to be magnets. Us cosplayers are quite resourceful, if I say so myself. We are using so many different things in our costumes, from literal you know, trash we found somewhere in our attics at home, to very you know, expensive and high-end materials. We also love sharing tips and tricks with each other. And actually one of my favorite tricks in cosplay is using magnets for various reasons. Magnets are very easy to hide in your costume. You can sew it inside your, your dress, maybe hide it in your weapon to connect the pieces, or even hide it inside your wig. They are so perfect for every costume which has some pieces which somehow magically connects to your body, but in real life it has no sense because it usually just would, you know, fall off from you. So if you want to attach something huge to your head or maybe close armor on you and on the design there is no visible straps, Think about magnets first. One of my favorite type of magnets is called rare earth magnet or no dye magnet. They are very very durable and strong. The connection between them there is just so strong that it's quite hard to you know separate them from each other. You can order them from AliExpress or eBay and they are not expensive at all. In today's video I'm going to show you how I actually connect one of the pieces of my Nike costume from Smite to my head using magnets. For my Nike cosplay I'm going to use lace front wig because it looks so natural and so well with this character. The one that I'm using today comes from Epic Cosplay Wig Store and it comes in Tatumon Blonde in the model Keto. So guys, if you are curious how I style my wigs from quite long lace front wig to a very boyish, you know, short hairstyle and how I connect magnets to my tiara and my wig so that it all connects together seamlessly, keep on watching! First things first, let's unpack the wig. It arrived quite safely packed and I wasn't waiting too long for this. I think it was about a week and a half of wait for the postman. One of the things which I really really liked about this wig was the fact that the color of the wig which I received in the bag was pretty much identical like the one I saw on the pictures from the store. So no problem with the color matching. The hairnet was laced and also regulated in the bag. This wig also has three sewing combs inside the net, which will help the wig stay on your head. As every good quality lace front wig, this one was also sewn with a nice long lace. What you want to do when you receive a lace front wig is firstly to cut the lace off. Please do it with sharp scissors and cut the lace as long as you want. Personally, I prefer cutting it shorter, just under the hairline. Lace in lace front wig basically makes the wig look so much more natural. The hairline is smooth and it looks like it's growing out of your head. For my comfort I am going to use a wig head. If you don't own one you can always use your own head, but I think it will be less comfortable. <laughs> Give your wig a nice brush. Also decide where the hair should go first. Short wigs are a little bit tricky on the wig heads, but there is one trick which I want to show you. By using the straps, which are usually used to tighten the wig up on your head, you can actually connect the wig to the wig stand. Just tie the straps together under the chin of the wig head and it should stay still. Next step is to cut your wig shorter. <laughs> My Nika has a quite short hairstyle. It is quite boyish or tomboyish, so my wig was a little bit too long for it. You can use any kind of a sharp scissors to cut your hair, but personally I prefer using Chinese knife. Cut your hair while combing it. The razor inside the brush doesn't really cut much hair at once. So basically, yes, the process will take a little bit longer than cutting it with scissors, but in the end there's little or no chance of mistake in cutting too much hair or cutting, you know, a bit chunk of hair at once. When the wig is short enough, you can start making little spikes. The hair spikes on Nika's head are quite delicate and not that sharp. So instead of teasing the hair and making a huge spike, I decided only to spike up the ends of the hair. With your fingers you can grab little pieces of hair and then using hairspray you can spike it up. One of my favorite ways of making such tiny spikes is to put a little bit of hairspray on my fingers. 
Then basically I'm just putting this kind of hair glue on the ends of the hair. When you are done with styling the spikes and overall you are happy with the shape of the wig, it's time to use a little bit of a heat. Hair dryer and hairspray combo is the one which never fails me. It is actually how I secure most of the hairstyles on my wigs for conventions. So that's it, the wig is basically done. Now it's time for magnets. Tiara on my Nika character design somehow sticks to its head on itself. Most probably the designers wanted to make it as a crown which holds on the head on itself. But it doesn't really work this way in real life and I'm pretty much sure that the tiara would fall off instantly. So during making this cosplay, I've built in some magnets inside the crown. Neodyme magnets are super strong and basically they stick to each other so well. To be honest, sometimes they stick too well. What I mean is that sometimes it's really hard to separate them. So for my convenience and comfort, I try to always keep at least one of the magnets inside a foam sandwich. They are strong enough to connect even in the sandwich and yet it's easier to separate them. The very important thing about magnets is the fact that one side sticks to each other and the other side resists it. You want to make sure to mark the side which holds to another magnet. You don't really want to make this mistake of gluing the magnet inside the wig and then realizing that it doesn't really stick to each other. Whoopsies! To connect the magnets to the wig, I am just using a little bit of hot glue. I am gluing magnets inside the wig on the spots which I marked before. This way I am sure that the tiara will fit just fine. If you plan to use this wig many more times than just one cosplay, maybe it would be a better idea than using glue to sew it inside the wig. Now when my magnets are glued into the wig, I can try to connect the tiara. And it holds just fine! Okay, let me show you how I look in this wig and how my Nike costume looks overall. Let's go! a lot guys for watching my video today. I really hope that you found it helpful and I kinda inspired you to use more magnets in your upcoming cosplays. It is truly not a hard thing to use in your costumes and I think it's pretty much useful when you want to connect something which makes no sense on the reference material to your real costume. I also sincerely recommend Epic Cosplay Week store for upcoming cosplay plans. They have so many great quality weeks and my Nika week was just Perfect! So if you're curious, you can always click the link down below in the description box and you can go and check it yourself. If you want to watch more of my videos, you can always click right here or subscribe to my channel or become my Patreon. So have fun with that magnet skits and I hope to see you very very soon on my channel. So see you later guys! Bye!